What is up YouTube? We're off to do some ride along, thrifting, come ride with me, all that bullshit. I'm heading up north, I'm going for a um, 45 to 50 minute drive, to see what we can get at the markets up there. Haven't been there for about six months, fucking good mar uh, markets, what am I talking about? Thrift shop, op shop, haven't been to this op shop for about six months. Used to be one of my favorite uh, op shops, this one. Uh, it was actually the first op shop that I brought from uh, from my first video, which I didn't do a ride along then. And where I brought my first merch from, had videos galore there, but they stopped with the videos, they got rid of them, so I stopped going there because it turned dog shit. Uh, but let's see if they've redeemed themselves. Let's see if they've shooed those dog shit flies away from this op shop. Let's see if we can make some money from this op shop. And there's two op shops next door to it as well, so bit of a bonus. Hot as fuck today, love it. Uh, representing the New Orleans Pelicans. Come on, Pelicans! That's enough of me talking shit. Let's go thrifting. Come ride with me. Boom! Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to up shop town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. Alrighty YouTube, I was excited. Look at this wedding dress. I can get my missus a wedding dress for $200. 200 bucks, that's all I gotta spend. But I don't think she would wear that one. It was pretty fucking ugly. Alright, I grabbed myself a basket here. This rude lady did not even say hello to me. And I said hello to her. Did not say hello back. Not a good start. Not a fucking good start. But that's alright. We keep cruising. We keep cruising. So, uh, have a little look at some uh, games in here. Pretty shit. Uh, there was this crossword. I wanted three bucks for it. I didn't even want to look it up. I just couldn't be bothered. But these gold seal as priced. These shoes here, apparently are uh, the expensive shoes. And they've looked up the prices now. This, These boots, these boots looked great to grab. I'll do a quick little uh, snapshot here, but they wanted $165. I thought that was the price that they were selling for originally. They were brand new, beautiful boots, $165. I didn't even look up what they go for. That's what they wanted them. This old lady here, she was going through the CDs, and she put down, and I grabbed it, Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden CD, fuck yeah. If it's not worth any money, I'm keeping that one for me because I don't have that. Uh, Iron Maiden peace of mind. Um, I had a little look more through there. I didn't. Oh, I didn't dig. I didn't dig. I should have dug, and I didn't. But that's my own fault. I was planning on going back once uh, the old lady went, but I didn't. But that's all right. Squeeze by, and then uh, yeah, all good. DVDs. DVDs were fucking good price, uh, dollar each. But. There wasn't that many uh, good ones. Wow. Fuck. But that's alright. That is alright. Because I... Um, when I look at these DVDs, I was trying to find box sets, to be honest. I was trying to find box sets, but that's cool. Uh, we go to the books. We will find China. We go to the books, and there's the slap, the slap book. Uh, I think that's an Australian uh, book. That one. These uh, guitar, these guitar magazines. They wanted two bucks each for them. Two fucking dollars. Are you kidding me? Uh, y you know, if they were fifty cents each, you could have maybe bundled a whole heap of them up if uh, some of them were worth anything. But no, fucking dickheads. Anyway, that's all right. Went past the jeans, I know nothing about jeans, so I kept on moving, I kept on moving. Uh, I was trying to make my way to the electronics, trying to find it, and get past those toys. There was an E or plush uh, right there, E or plush, the most miserable uh, Disney character that wants to commit suicide, uh, Eeyore. But 
chuck my basket down there and uh, we'll have a little look at the uh, electronics and oh what have we got FIFA 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 fucking FIFA all the time uh, people don't even try and sell their FIFAs uh, anymore they just freaking donate them so there's always a million FIFAs they wanted ten dollars each for these games some were five dollars but ten bucks couldn't fucking believe it Rocky Balboa on PSP uh, PlayStation Portable that was selling for eight dollars and they wanted ten bucks postman pat they wanted five bucks for that but uh, the most you'll get online for that one is eight bucks so unfortunately the game situation was a bit dog shit but we kept on looking through we kept on looking through and scrolling because you never know if you're going to find a gold mine or not pc games there was actually an asian bloke uh, that was destroying them before i walked over and he had a fucking whole pile of them I think he had all the Starcrafts and all that, so... But anyway, he took all them, so good on him. Good the fuck on him. Hope he makes some fucking money. Uh, biggest Loser, we and all that. Nah, not wasting my time there. I was having a little look to see if there was any Mario Karts, because you can get some good dosh for Mario Karts, and I found Mario Karts for $2 before. I'm still pissed off about those shoes. 165 bucks, man. Like, what were they thinking? There's a hairdryer. Uh, I don't know why anyone would buy a second-hand one, but uh, anyway, there's a fisting fan, and a misting fan, misting fan, uh, hair curlers, none of it was new. Saw this uh, MP3 player, they wanted 12 bucks for it, and they wrote in a Sharpie pen on there, so you wouldn't be able to get that off, but it was sticky taped up, it wasn't new. They go for about $30, I looked up, but that's new, so I wasn't going to bother with that and muck around with that crap. So... I get my basket and get the fuck out of there. There's a dog shit, a dog shit uh, teddy. I was actually going to get that so my dog could hump it, but um, it was three bucks and uh, the dog's got enough teddies to hump at the moment. So I left that. Dog shit teddy. Games, no new puzzles, no new games. And this was really starting to look like a dog shit day. It really, really was. Um, I do like looking through all these uh, bags of mixed toys that they sell for between 2 and $5. Um, some of them had some little mini Star Wars plushes in there, but it was not worth it. Uh, if you find the Mr. Men, uh, ones with Mr. Men in them, grab them and accumulate them because you'll get some more right, uh, money for Mr. Men. Not not like absolutely heaps, but uh, you, you'll, get enough, you'll get enough to get yourself a large Macca's meal. Um, so... There were some Octonaut toys in there. I'd actually looked them up, and unless they're brand new, you need a whole set just to get like ten, fifteen dollars. So I wasn't going to bother with that. Some uh, little kiddies toys there. At least they put their kids' toys a little bit higher up on the shelves, so these little shits don't uh, come and break everything. Dora the Explorer clock. So there's the uh, Octonauts ones, not worth not not worth my time, unfortunately. Always look through the books. I'll still never forget the uh, He-Man, the the small thin He-Man book that I found for five dollars at a knob shop, and got fifty bucks for it plus postage, plus postage. So I think it went to the UK. So you know, you never know what you're going to find. Know what you're looking for as well. Look look for those old comic books and look for those um, look for those old. Old, old ones. I found this Batman. You see, you can never know what you could find, but unfortunately it was published in 2012, so that can go back on the shelf and suck a dick. So, unfortunately, there was no good books. There's Donald Duck. And uh, those golden books, I, I used to... There's a bullshit... There's a bullshit book. A bullshit book in the kids' section. Couldn't believe it. Well, I can fucking tell you there's a reason why I haven't been back to that one because that is dog shit. They priced everything so fucking high. What were those fucking boots? I would have made some good money on those boots. They wanted 160 something, was it? Fuck, my eyes are fucked. You know these? They're just fucking going for their life through the fucking garbage. Good shit. All right, let's do this next one. Alright, this one wasn't a good start. It seemed like a lot of shit and a lot of junk accumulated at the very, very beginning of the op shop. Uh, Christopher Reeve's chair was there for sale for 60 bucks. Uh, couldn't post that. Oops, no, it was his. 
is not happy with me. This wee uh, weights were... He's coming back for his chair. Get the fuck out of there. Um, those wee weights weren't worth anything. Thought I'd always have a little look at the shoes. Uh, nothing really there. Um, these ones that I had a look at, I really thought might have been worth some money, but they were pretty damaged. Uh, these weren't uh, these weren't in good condition, but fuck, I never knew golfers wore like footy studs, and they were sharp. They were so fucking sharp. So if a golfer has a fight with another golfer and kicks a golfer in the face, you're fucked. You're gonna get fucking. You're gonna get all these sharp fucking things in your face. I don't know if golfers have fights with each other, but fuck, you wouldn't want to friggin' kick another golfer in the face. Anyway, uh, we got some. Pads there, a uh, box of pads. Uh, I don't want to really sell them. Um, in the uh, glass cabinet, we always got to have a look in the glass cabinet. Uh, there was a Casio calculator, a bit overpriced. Um, but I did find an old um, video camera battery, which I'll show you in show and tell. Now look at this, look at this big... Uh, they wanted 120 I think it was, for this massive boot. I don't know why, and it was by itself. It said single boot only uh write down in the comments if you know what that fucking boot why that boot would have been that much money that's crazy some of these op shops man they fucking put their prices up but looky looky what we found we found some uh, videos we found the videos and uh, nothing really special um nothing really special at all there was a football record afl uh, videotape with Gary Ablett, the god, on the uh, front cover there. It's a 1994 video, pre-Fremantle Dockers, before my team came in the comp. But uh, looks like a good video, and I wouldn't mind having a watch to see. Uh, this is back when they used to fucking beat the shit out of each other, and it was a good footy back then. Alright, so I chucked that in my video pile. So everything on this table, uh, three for $2. That's a pretty damn good deal. Pretty damn good deal. Found a box set, uh, what season was it? I can't even remember now. I'll show you that in show and tell as well on Thursday. Found all these cassette tapes. Fuck yeah, uh, there was heaps of cassette tapes. Uh, did not want this Brabus Streisand one. Fuck that, uh, not worth my time. But I found a few, and I haven't even looked up the prices of those yet. So I'll look at them up right before show and tell. Uh, some more videos down here. And I grabbed a big clamshell you sexy clamshell of thomas the tank engine with ringo star narrating that's gotta get me over twenty dollars gotta get me over twenty bucks i've told you ringo star get it so the records we're gonna look through the records here there's a bird dance everyone knows the bird dance this is the bird dance we all know the fucking bird dance that would have been a damn good record to get we should have fucking brought the bird dance but then, of course, my record, my record looking through was ruined by fucking this guy. By this guy. He haunts me. He haunts me. He haunts me when I'm looking through the records. Fucking, and they, they want two bucks for Kamal. You know what? If I find a Kamal for 50 cents, I'll buy it and we'll listen to it. And we'll see how shit it really is. Why everyone gives the Kamal away. And then I'm going to smash it. Then I'm going to break it and... Throw it like a frisbee. But uh, no good ones, no kiss, no uh, poison. There's fuck it. There he is again. Look at him. Oh my god, come on. Fuck this. I'm out of the fucking record area. Now have a look for these cords. I'm trying to find a PlayStation 2 uh, cord. I'll come across one one day, but there was none in here. Just a bunch of uh, crap in there. But always look through the cords because uh, if you can find yourself some uh, PlayStation. Uh, Connectors and cords and all that definitely worth uh, grabbing because people look for them. Um, so we got audio books. Uh, if you watch Garage Flips, um, uh, Loney in the shed has been uh, buying a lot of audio books lately. Uh, some of his episodes. Um, and look, they just happen to have a shit ton here. Uh, I grabbed. I didn't even look them up. I was in a bit of a rush here at the end, so I grabbed uh, Doctor Who and another Doctor Who, and then I finish up uh, in this store. By uh, having a look through the clothes, and I might have found a dog shit, but I might have found a good one. I am not sure. I really need to research this shirt that I've found, uh, but I'm pretty excited about it, and I'll tell you a lot about it right now. 
think I want fucking Maccas. I think I want Maccas after that frith because a good frith needs a good dirty burger. So there was two more op shops and I didn't go into them. I don't really have enough time to go into them. And I think I got enough. I spent $20 at that second store. I spent $3 or two, no, $2 at the first store. $2 at the first store. Oh, I want to listen to that Iron Maiden CD. Ah, uh, it's in the back. Um, definitely going to listen to that Iron Maiden CD before I sell that. Uh, but yeah, I got uh, a few good things. It was looking like a dog shit day. It really was looking like a dog shit day. But holy fuck. I could have found a holy grail. Now I haven't had a holy grail for about a good six months. I've done a holy grail episode about six months ago. I haven't had a holy grail for about six months. This is big for me. Now big shout out to uh, two Aussie thrifters and Look Mum Hustling and all those types of uh, Aussie channels and the American channels as well because I've never gone into clothes and shoes. I've never worried about it. I haven't bothered. Uh, but those channels have taught me a lot. Like, I hope I've taught you a lot about videos and uh, toys and all that other shit. But it's time to stop. It's time to stop making pennies. And now we're going to start making some serious dollars. So I thought I'd look through the clothes and the shoes. Shoes, nah. I don't know what I'm doing, but I had an idea of what type. I didn't go for jeans, uh, but um, I got an idea from you guys, uh, Brad and Jazz especially, um, from what shirts and what shoes and all that to look out for. So while I'm learning uh, shoes and shirts and vintage shirts and all that, I'll just quickly scroll through and, I'll, and just the brands I remember. Otherwise, I'm not going to spend heaps of time in there and look like a fuckhead on my phone and wasting my fucking day and my time. I've got to do research first because it's all about research and all about uh, looking up this knowledge before you go out there and do this, okay? So, uh, oh, before I continue, fucking, if you haven't, if you haven't uh, checked out the Instagram, have a look at the Instagram there, I'm on Instagram now, and I've got an eBay store, so if you want to buy any shit from my eBay store, buy stuff from my eBay store, I do shout outs for everyone or anyone that wants to buy from my eBay store on uh, Thursday show and tell, show and tell, I'll do shout outs, because uh, then I'll just chuck it in in the middle there. So it's all about doing your research, you don't want to go in there. So like, for instance, if you don't know anything about videos, don't go buying videos that you haven't researched and all that knowledge about them, CDs, DVDs, all that type of stuff. Same with me with clothes. You guys have given me uh, a lot of knowledge of uh, clothes and I'm still learning the clothes game and I don't really want to get into the clothes game yet. But anyway, right at the end, I'm talking shit. Um, right at the end there, I, I, I saw a Hawaiian shirt. Now I remember you guys, uh, these guys mentioned on uh, one of the shows about Hawaiian shirts. You did mention about Mambo. This wasn't a Mambo brand. Uh, this was a, uh, fuck, what brand was it? Skank or something? I can't even remember now. I can't remember. You'll see it in the show and tell. I'm excited about it. I looked it up. As soon as I looked it up, there's listings on there for, um, what way am I fucking going? There's listings for this brand on there all the way from $200 to $1,000. Okay, very weird for me. Very random. Very fucking random. So, I haven't researched this shirt properly, properly, but it was $7.50, more than I would like to pay for something like that in an op shop. But the lowest I could find was $150 for one of these shirts for sale on there. So, I'll research that, I'll show you on the show and tell, and uh, fingers crossed, I've got myself a holy grail, uh, I'll be so happy, I'll be so happy if it is, because it goes straight towards the wedding fund, uh, and the honeymoon, so, and buy from the eBay store if you want it, like any of the stuff that I uh, got, because it all, all, all my thrifting stuff goes towards the wedding and the honeymoon, alright? So, this is awesome, this is awesome, so... Once again, thanks uh, to Aussie Thrifters and Look Mum, I'm Hustling, um, Tracy from Unique and all that. You, you guys give me a lot of knowledge about clothes, so 
I'm learning. Uh, I do a lot of research about clothes at the moment uh, to get into it, but I'm not going to fully fucking jump into that shit until I know what I'm fucking doing. In the meantime, I'll stick with DVDs and games and toys and uh, videos and all that type of shit. So, anyway guys, fucking thanks heaps for watching. Freaking my uh, sub numbers are getting higher, which I uh, really do appreciate. Um, really, really do appreciate it. And I went the wrong fucking way and you can't do a U-turn here. Motherfuckers. Son of a bitch. Subscribe. Please subscribe. This is fucking, uh, this is really, yeah, and this has been fun for me. This is really fun. I love all these guys uh, tuning in and dropping the comments. Drop fucking comments. Drop comments if uh, you saw anything I walked past and I missed that you thought was uh, worth some money because uh, sometimes you do go past some uh, shit and you don't realize, but uh, that's okay. It's, uh, it is what it is, and you learn from uh, your mistakes when these guys are uh, U-turn illegal, um, when these guys are... Uh, we all let each other know and all you know us Aussie uh, thrifters and all that follow each other eh? follow each other and uh, on Instagram and um, YouTube and watch each other's content because a lot of your content what you guys buy gives knowledge to myself and other people that don't know other areas of things to buy so we help each other out. We all live in different states anyway. So we're not fucking, we're not cock blocking each other. We're not fucking absolutely cock blocking each other. So it's all right. Okay, it's fucking fine. So don't be a little fucking, don't be a hater. Don't be fucking jelly. Don't be a hater and don't be jelly. Fucking subscribe to each other and, um, and support each other for Australia and America, wherever. Anyway, I'm fucking talking shit. Subscribe, like. Thanks for watching. Uh, fucking, uh, I can't wait for this show and tell just for that shirt, just to see what it's fucking worth. And um, thanks, guys. Thanks again, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, do what the fuck you want, and I'll see you next episode. See you. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to.